Kwesi Amwakwata has expressed satisfaction at ongoing road construction works in some parts of the nation's capital, Accra. The minister made these expressions when he inspected works on the Ufanko in Sawan portion of the Accra Kumasi Highway in the Ganoth municipality. The flower pot flyover across the Accra Temamoto Way, the Nungwa Barrier Interchange in the Krowo municipality, and the bridge expansion project on the La Beach Road in the La Dadekotupong municipality. He further indicated he is optimistic that all these major projects will be completed on schedule. After the inspection tour, he said he was impressed with the rate of work, the organization and safety precautionary measures taken, and used the opportunity to congratulate the local contractors for the quality of work done so far and the speed they have applied to ensure that all the projects will be completed on time. It is a major project. This stretch has you know, as many as uh, four in interchanges that go with the project. And now I'm happy that it's been undertaken by one of the strong, very strong contractors that we have in our country, Maripoma. And people are excited about this project. You know, Ghanaians passing through here, you know, see this as a major project going on you know, under the uh, government's road infrastructure arrangement. And I am happy you know, for the third time that I have been here, the rate of work going on. And the contractor is well organized, the site is neat, he has taken all necessary uh, uh, safety precautionary measures, you know, and he has been keeping to the advice of the consultants and the engineers uh, in my ministry. I want to urge Maripoma Construction to keep on with such good works, and government is solidly behind uh, the company, just like all other construction companies going on uh, in this country and I am even excited you know, the more the assurance given to me that by the close of the first quarter, by the end of 31st March, at least the distance between Ofanko and uh, Pukwasi uh, you know, would have been completed. Honorable Mwakwata reiterated the government's commitment to ensuring that a larger part of the Accra Kumasi Highway is dualized. The portion of the Accra to Insawam Road is part of the rehabilitation of the 33.4 km Ufanko Insawam Road project, which is to be dualized. The year 2023, you know, I, I am here again with my team. It shows the importance government attaches to this project. This is a major project, this uh, Ofanko and Sawam uh, project, dualization, is a major project and is part of the entire Accra Kumasi dualization. And the people of this country are going to see major action on this corridor this year. Well, very soon we shall embark upon the commencement of the bypasses at Osino, Enyinem, Enyresi and Konongo. That's part of the Accra Kumasi dualization. He further assured that the ongoing expansion from Afanko to Insawam on the Accra Kumasi Highway will continue without any impediments. He indicated that some properties on the highway have been demolished to pave the way, but some are still on site because related cases are before the court. Nonetheless, he expects the Pukwasi to Amasan stretch of the road to be completed by the end of March this year to ease vehicular traffic on that stretch. All of us, you know, the, the uh, MCs, the consultants, my own ministry, you know, uh, GHA, the implementing agency, and everybody, you know, we should deal with those who, whose properties are affected fairly, you know, and with civility. We have to engage them, okay, and make sure that where we have to pay compensation, adequate compensation is paid.
on Utah. So far, all of them are cooperating with us. But let me say that we should be fair to each one of them. Uh, we should not show any element of favoritism to anybody. Okay? All of them must be treated equally where properties have to go. You know, they must go. So that when the affected people see that they are being dealt with fairly you know, and, and, and on equal measure. Mr. Thomas David Arthur, resident engineer of the project, said the contractor had been working day and night to ensure the completion of the 2.4 kilometer stretch with a railway bridge. Once we get that done, the contractor you know, has the vision of completing the, um, the roadworks from kilometer zero, that is around Ofanko, to White House area, that is uh, around um, and where the interchange, focus interchange starts. Yes, he wants to complete that one by end of March. Yes, this, this year. Yes, this year. This very year. His only challenge is, uh, will be with the bridge structure that needs to come over the railway bridge. That will take us a little longer to have that one done. Uh, so, uh, the railway bridge, yes, is, is uh, before you get to Ofanko, uh, uh, John Tay before you get to John Tay. Yeah. So overall, we will say that the work done is about 30%. Yes, right? uh, far ahead of schedule. And the contractor is going to work day and night uh, to make sure that the project is completed. The minister also inspected works on the flyover across the Accra Temamoto Way from Flower Port and the interchange at Junction Mall at Nungwa as part of the La Beach Road expansion project. A former deputy director of communications for the New Patriotic Party, NPP, Nana Ubri Bwahin, has questioned the basis on which Dr. Nyaho Nyaho Tamaklo is questioning the contribution of flag bearer hopeful, Honorable Kennedy Japon, to the party. Dr. Nyaho Nyaho Tamaklo, in a recent interview, questioned the competence and devotion of the Asin Central MP, Kennedy Japon, as a prospective flag bearer of the New Patriotic Party. But responding to Dr. Nyahota Maklo in an interview with Wintumi Radio, Mr. Obri Bwahin disputed his claims. At the of Samra, Nyahota Maklo, in 2016, there are Canadian Japan Nikutin, who are one of the Koha. Could have 100 cars. Men and 100 pickups. 2016. 2016, I think, yeah, 2016. Canadian Japan Nikutin. I said he paid MPP three million US and dollars. And we had a nineties. And we had nineties. Ninety two. And we had nineties. Three million US and dollars. And we had nineties. In ninety two. And we had nineties. With interest. Tell me. Two hundred and seventy five constituencies in Ghana. Buy na Canada Japan na hunsun sanswa enko. Me wa ba umia me ya kampi ama ba umia. But doesn't mean say so because some eight year ba umia competitive bi na have knowledge of it aminka. Na nyaho 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 tamaklo. Oh, in 2016, oh, ni mahama. Eni ni ya Ibrahim nuna monam. Wafere. Mr. Bri Bwahin noted that, contrary to his claims, it is rather Dr. Nyaho Tamaklo who has no track record of commitment to the party. Describing Nyaho Tamaklo as a disgraced politician, the former Deputy Communications Director said Dr. Nyaho Tamaklo has no basis to issue such criticism since he is no longer a member of the New Patriotic Party. What basis? Because Nyaho Tamaklo, like uh, um, Dr. Uraku Brubi, and people for you move him. So, so, say, can I just jump on the general or here or here and people for vote? Now, what do you see, say? When you are crisscrossing with your brother, your cousin, your nephew, your dear dear Ibrahim and Mahama, and then President Mahama, no, on we near, and now in central for against you for a founding member. When are a founding member? At what point in time? Or a founding member? Or a founding elder? Yeah, you know from people. Mm -hmm. Please, they should stop that. Oh my, we say oh no, PC in Kakra. Oh PC in Kakra, I say. Only mutubwa kenedja Japan diama NPP. Teachers are apprentice. 
So please, yeah, I'll come back to Alan Chai. Campaign now, yeah, starting on. Mama, yeah, yeah, campaign on with due respect, with civility and maturity. The New Patriotic Party, later this year, is expected to elect a flag bearer. So far, eight presidential hopefuls have made their intentions clear to contest the flag bearership race. As since Central MP Kennedy Japan, a former NPP General Secretary, Kobne Japan, and former Energy Minister, Boachie Jakon, have all announced their intentions to contest as the party's flag bearer. Last week, John Alankojo Chiramantin announced his intent to contest after resigning, while former Minister for Agriculture, Dr. Usui Fuyi Koto is here to make an official announcement after also announcing his resignation from government. Vice President Alhaji Dr. Mahamudu Baumia, who is here to officially announce his bid, is believed will also contest the flag bearership of the NPP. Joe Gatte, Member of Parliament for Escado Ketan and former Mampong MP Francis Adainimo have also made clear their aspirations to lead the new patriotic party in the next general elections in 2024. Echo Furniture Works Limited, one of Ghana's leading manufacturers of furniture, has opened a new showroom of quality home, office and outdoor furniture at Adringano in Accra. The opening of the new showroom forms a part of the company's effort to offer the best services to its clients as it has done over the years. The opening also came with the company's vision of setting up the biggest woodwork manufacturing factory, which will employ many of the youth with skills and interest in woodwork. The management of the company also took the opportunity to share with patrons some packages available, including a 50% exclusive season discount for all furniture in their showrooms. The CEO of Alibet's chief, Maget Ali Tan, in his address shared his excitement about the partnership. He said the partnership will ensure that clients and customers will be able to receive their purchased goods within two to four weeks based on the number of containers. Currently, the two companies, which are Echo Furniture Works Limited and Alibet, are putting up a huge state-of-the-art manufacturing factory at Pram Pram, where all furniture will be locally made from next year. I'm number one in the whole of West Africa. I think I'm number one also in Africa. We have 1,500 workers. It's a time for us to start the industrialization. Our region this is the only way to be able to transform our raw material to item without importing it. We export. I export furniture from Nigeria to other countries. One of them is Ghana. Very soon we will be able to even to export to other countries in Europe. Some time ago, about a few months ago, I met Mr. George. He became very, very close friend of mine. And since I am older than him, I call him simply John. And we spoke, and I discovered that we have the same vision is to start an industry in Ghana. We start now by exporting the furniture from Nigeria to Ghana. Nigeria, I mean, uh, exporting from Nigeria to Ghana is easier than to export from Lagos to Abuja. All what we think is just a system of collaboration and so on. And this is what we are doing. And we hope by the end of this year, 2020, we start our production, our factory in part part. Honorable Kennedy Ohini Japan, the Member of Parliament for Asen Central, who was a special guest of honor for the occasion, was full of praise for Mr. George Utibonsu for his efforts at creating employment for the youth of the country. <laughs> Nanibaki <laughs> 
Honorable Kennedy Japan used the occasion to advise users of social media in Ghana to be entrepreneurial in the use of social media, which is enormous benefit rather than the negative and abusive use of new media technologies. <laughs> Especially the youth now on social media. In fact, COVID by social media elsewhere in advanced countries, you know, they make money out of it. Ghana and Kwa, most of the social media they use to destroy each other, fighting, gossiping. Send your man and what? Mumai take advantage of the social media. Niam Fanya at the part and what Ghana. He also presented a check on behalf of Mr. George Otibonsu to the host of Ayuko Ayuko of UTV for supporting the agri industry in the country. A branch here in the area and the area of Otibonsu, Ashe, Neguma Pa, Waye, Ewo, UTV, Na, Eno, Tino, O, Cheno, Adi, Akonyano, Eguwa, a branch here, 45,000. Ghana seats. And uh, a sign, a check of 10,000, which means 55,000. And now, a program, our yard, a support to a queer for. Surprisingly, a new minister of a Greek, and then my award, and then your queer for, and then my award. Nebu furniture company. Furniture company are Nani Aso will come up away. Echo Furniture Works Limited has been in existence for over two decades and has provided many reputable companies and individuals with their home furniture needs. The company is currently the leading manufacturer of doors, kitchen sets and wardrobes and is the sole distributor of tuna doors from Turkey and Alibet in Nigeria currently has its production sites located at Pentex and Alonga Junction, Kumase and two showrooms in Adringano, one at East Ligon and one at Asylum Down.